This is not right. What is happening? Something has to be done about this. Let's face it, there's Aptasia here, there's Aptasia there, there's Aptasia everywhere. The Aptasia has gotten out of control. It's time to enlist an army of epic proportions. So I knew what I had to do. I took to the phone and called my LFS, also known as local fish store. Hello? Yeah, I'm looking for an army to battle some Aptasia that I have in my tank. Sorry, sir. We don't have anything at the moment. No? You don't have anything? So I grabbed my keyboard and went to the internet. I searched for my favorite website when it comes to cleanup crews, and that's reefcleaners.org. Scrolling on their website, I thought to myself, hmm, Bergie and Nudibranchs. Those seem to work. People have success with those. Let me check that out. But they were sold out. So then I searched more and found peppermint shrimp. Yes, there were a few available. To be honest, I wanted to buy them all, but I thought it would be nice to leave some for the next guy. There we go. Tin should do the trick. So I placed my order and I waited. And then, just like that, they were here. I mean, look at the size of this box. So I opened the box to inspect what was inside and I found this guy. I'm not sure if this guy is alive. And he does not look very good. So I set him aside and kept looking. Here's a bag of snails that I purchased and a bag of hermit crabs that I added to the order because anytime you're on reef cleaners, you gotta get a good amount of cleanup crew. Now looking at these peppermint shrimp, they're all individually wrapped. So I floated the bags in the sump. I mean, look at all these bags. And then I acclimated them to the tank's water parameters. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I now have an army of nine. Look at this big one right here. Sad to say that one guy did not make it. He's not moving. Okay, so one guy down, not a problem. Reef Cleaners has a great DOA policy and I was refunded for one peppermint shrimp. Next, I used this big green net to catch the shrimp and then I released them into the 125 gallon reef aquarium. Now, I won't know right away if these peppermint shrimp are gonna tackle the problem that I have with Aptasia. Aptasia takes work to get rid of. Manual removal and using products like Aptasia RX are a great way to get rid of Aptasia, but when it starts to take hold, a more natural defense is in order. So I have started the war by enlisting peppermint shrimp. Now peppermint shrimp can be seen moving around the tank at night, but most of the time it just seems like they hide under rocks and just hang out. Now I am a little concerned that the hawkfish in the aquarium might go after these peppermint shrimp. so. Only time will tell. This is the beginning of an epic battle that's about to unfold. And if you liked this video, then I know you're gonna enjoy this video right here. Thank you so much for watching, liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.